going to start first by the service portal. And we'll see how, as an end user, this portal powered by big data and machine learning is going to provide me with a more engaging user experience and helping me resolve my issue quicker. So this morning I couldn't get on my company uh, web mail system, so I'm just going to go and search on the portal for help on this topic. Cannot get on web mail. And what I can see here is that the system as I'm typing is searching for the best results and pushing me to directly this news that the web mail system has an outage. So instead of creating a ticket, I'm just wait for the end of the, of the outage. In our daily use of IT, you know, we get some of those error messages, okay? And as an end user, it can be very complex to describe what application is involved, what is this error message about. So here as a user, you know, if I have such, such an error message, I can just go and take a screenshot or a picture with my phone and I can just add it to my tickets. And uh, here, you know, no, I have nothing to add. I can just submit. That's what we create a smart ticket. And our smart ticketing feature is allowing IT to uh, offer this portal uh, to the end user where they can just take a screenshot, enter it, and in the background, the system will automatically um, OCR the, uh, the image, which means that, you know, detecting the text in the image and running big data algorithm to find out what, um, what's happening and how we can help the end user. And here I can see that uh, automatically the portal is popping up um, information saying that a new solution has been provided to my request. I can just go and look at my request where we can see that the text has been analyzed and actually a solution has been provided that my account was created and I need to retry. So I just have to you know, accept this and my ticket is closed. As my ticket got closed, I can review a few tasks that I have, in particular this survey from IT to see how happy I was with the service. I can just respond to this survey and put a textual comment that IT is going to be able to analyze with our big data hot topic analytics. Using my phone, I can easily create a smart ticket. I have just to add a picture or an error message from my gallery, add it to the tickets, and without typing any text, I can submit my ticket, which will be analyzed automatically on behalf of IT. Now let's have a look at the virtual agent that is here to help me 24 by 7. How to connect uh, to the company network from home. And automatically the virtual agent um, is helping me, uh, you know, resolving my issue. So I can see that typically, you know, it's um, going to help me with a number of knowledge article, um, like, you know, how to connect my HP Elite book to the company network. I can directly review uh, the article and see if it's helping me or, or not helping me. Uh, in my case, I saw something else as well in uh, the proposal I was getting. And one is, actually a question that is how can I connect to the company network from home very similar to mine and we can see that actually this one is a user question Shane Wei a colleague of mine you know was asking this question and somebody answered him saying that I, you just have to, to launch Pulse Secure this pre-installed on your PC so you know here you know it's directly resolved I don't even have to go further and if the question was was asked but no answer were given I could just click on follow to be notified whenever an answer uh, would be would be found knowing that this system of social Q&A is allowing um, any user to answer those questions and the system will uh, show the questions to uh, the user being the most likely to to answer them and here what the system is reproducing is what we get in the office when something is not working like the printer and instead of logging a ticket I'm just going to ask my colleagues that's the same you know powered by our big data platform last thing I wanted to do here is go and look at uh, you know what I own my service and assets so I can see here that I have a computer but as well I have a cloud service you know from coming from Amazon so I can just review my subscription and here on my subscription I can see um, 
I can see all of the information on this subscription, including its cost, and I can see a number of related articles, or if I have any issue with my subscription or want to cancel it, the system automatically is pushing to me related actions. And the strength of the system is that nobody in IT had to configure the system to behave this way. It looked at similar uh, support uh, information or similar article and is pushing them to the user in the context of this specific Amazon offering. And obviously here, you know, I switch from my laptop to uh, my iPad or can also go and bring up uh, my phone. I'm just going to ask the system. Hey, I can't get my email on my mobile. And here you go, system finding information and I have directly a knowledge article able to help me at the top of this list. I'm just going to click on it and review this uh, article uh, with step-by-step -step information, including rich media. I can also use the portal for my non-IT needs. In uh, my company, the portal was also set up for uh, human resources. So I can go in human resources and very easily look at uh, the information that is being provided and for instance, you know, how, how I can get a leave and what are the policy. So here I'm reviewing the maternity and paternity leave uh, policies, for instance. And obviously, if it's helpful, I can just go ahead and, and, and say that it was. And when I've done that in the same way, I can uh, just fill my leave. And before I do so, I'm going to check my eligibility. Can I take a paternity in February? I can review my request and know where it is in its workflow. So, and as I'm um, here, uh, you know, taking input from the user, cannot get on, um, cannot get email. Um, the user cannot get its email on either uh, Outlook. Uh, or on his phone. And as I'm typing, what you can see is that automatically the system is searching on the top for relevant information to help me as an agent finding quick solution, such as directly looking at, uh, you know, a knowledge database and being able to directly uh, propose that knowledge you know, in one click as a solution, or also finding related incidents. So in a one click, I can relate this request to an incident uh, very easily. Let's leave support and go to change management. So I want to review here my uh, changes, in particular my change calendar to look for conflicts. At a glance, I can see all my changes and where they fit uh, with the various change window. And I can see you know, in my change, what are the time where the service will be impacted and will be down. I can see the change that have been approved, like this one with the thumbs up in, in, in green. But also I can see that this upgrade um, of the sales database, you know, is uh, conflicting. So actually, I can't proceed with this change. And if I'm reviewing the conflict, what I'm seeing is that the change is scheduled within the blackout time. Uh, so instead of trying to find myself, you know, when I can schedule it, I can ask the system for uh, its smartest proposal in terms of when this change can be, um, uh, can be scheduled. So I'm going to go ahead and save uh, this proposal. And I'm going to drill down into this change. And what I can see in this change, obviously you know, I can see the information about you know, sales database. By unfolding here the uh, right panel, I can see that this change uh, is uh, providing me with information in terms of defining the risk I'm taking and the priority for success. And it's using a similar change done in the past uh, by using our big data idle engine. And here I can see as well the top past changes that have been successful or the ones that have been, uh, have been failing. So I can review what happened, maybe who was involved with this change, so I can help my change having a really low to no risk and at the end being successful. Let's create a change. Here I need to, um, to patch 
uh, a Windows Server. So patch um, Windows Server with uh, Service Pack 6. We need to patch um, the server which IP is 10.60.5.10 with Service Pack 6. What you can see here is that I was typing the system as inspected what I was typing and run some big data search across the whole CMDB, which is populated with our discovery information. And it has recognized that this is a valid IP address matching this CI. So what this allows me to do is two things. First, I can check that I'm indeed here uh, linking the right uh, CI and yes, that's the right server. And also it will force end user to link both in incident or in ticketing or in change CI to uh, those artifacts. And we know it's very important for uh, speeding up resolution, but as well provide, uh, providing better analytics. In my case, you know, I can even use this information and drill down into the CI. I'm not going to, to, say, to save this change. And I can review all of the CI information, including where it is in its life cycle. And, you know, I have all the topology available so I can see what the impact on this CI is going to have, you know, on the chain and of my business services. Another example of using data to provide you with immersive analytics is our change analytics. So typically here, the system is looking at all the changes and um, you know, calculating some key performance indicators that allow me to understand how am I doing, you know, whether it's in change success rate or in how much of my uh, change uh, management is based on standard changes and how much I'm autom automating. And the system is able to find uh, a number of insights out of those data to try to help me uh, finding what I should be doing. And if I want to get started on the journey of improving, it's helping me in my continuous improvement process by uh, providing me the low, with the low hanging fruit that I should start by doing this. If I'm about automating some change, you know, then uh, you know, automating the you know, Windows patch uh, would be a great idea. And the system can even suggest me a number of action points by looking at and comparing my unsuccessful changes with my successful changes. As you saw earlier, we have both IT and HR being managed under this portal. How it all started is that my company started first with IT, but when HR saw this, the HR manager came to IT say, hey, is there a way to use this for uh, human resources? So IT told them, oh, good idea. Let's just suggest it. Use this service portal for uh, HR ticketing, okay? And my idea is about um, could we leverage this service portal for HR knowledge sharing and case management? Okay, and as I'm typing, this system as well is powered by big data, so it's looking at a similar article, and if there is a match, I could just go there and click on it and uh, add my vote to an existing idea without, uh, you know, creating a duplicate. So I'm going to go and submit. As I'm going back to the agent interface, I can review all the ideas that have been submitted in my company and drill down into them and look at their current status and where they are in their workflows. Some of those ideas could be, you know, move to, to request or to change, or some of them, you know, are really variable and are being moved to proposals. And I can very easily review all those ideas and looking at, you know, for each of them, uh, what are the, uh, you know, the cost and the business value that they're providing. So I can make sure to prioritize first the ones that have a, are going to have a bigger impact. Our service management automation suite is multi-tenant and this console allows you to manage those tenants and the customer account linked to them. For instance, here I'm going to very easily create a new tenant for my HR department so they can have a trial system on the same infrastructure, leveraging the same hardware, and in a click of a button after a few seconds, the tenant is ready. Another possibility is to clone a tenant, uh, for instance, duplicate a production tenant to be able to simulate new processes and see the, the results.